This is a cool water strainer off the water tank on Richard's steam wagon. Uh, what he's asked us to do is remove it. A little bit off the diameter. If you always want to ask him how much he come up with a famous phrase, just a fanny's hair. Be quite a thick fanny's hair. These ones probably get maybe 20, 25 thousand off them. Just it won't quite go into the uh, into the hole it's meant to go into. I've got the the sort of something to chuck on, so I'll just put one end in there. And I'll put a centre in there just to keep it running nice and through. It's actually not round, but it'll it'll be enough just to just to whisper that face. Nice gentle grip on it. Just a sharp tool in the end, just take a nice cut off that, that brass bush. Bigger. I've been meaning to make a bell centre for quite some time. I just haven't got around to it. I'll get away with that just so near. It's not much use as a chop that, but it is very handy for lining things up with, both here and in the mill. Break that little edge in the nuts. I'm certainly going now. Got a nice little straightforward turning job to do. Uh, a couple of rear spacers for the rear wheel bearings on the Sentinel steam wagon. They're basically two discs of steel, decent stuff. I've got a bit of AN16 here. Uh, 92 mil outside diameter, 65 mil bore, and they need to be 10 mil thick. That's 115 mil bore, so I'll definitely to get them out of that. It does need to be some sort of decent material because they have got quite a a bit of load on them.
and this arm's definitely getting stronger. Strip and clean this this truck once I get this job done. I've put the they say with the writing on into the truck just to see if it's having to write it on the RM when I'm finished. And at least I'll know what what steel it is when I come to use it again just get it running reasonably true Pretty good at that.
drum's trying to port this off. If I run it slow, I get a lot of chatter. <coughs> if I run it fast, I get vibration and chatter. It's just not nice, it doesn't like it, I don't know why. That's a new tip in the port control. Finish on it, but it's not uh, not ideal at all. That I parted these off more than 10 mil because I knew I would have problems parting it off. I've had problems before with this material. I uh, put them in a 774 jaw chuck. All I want to do now was machine it down to a thickness of 10 mil. As you can see, it's a little bit this wobbly. So we'll bring the, the bearing in, they should push it, push it through. A little bit more. Right, that's running dead through there. All we'll do, nip the chuck up. It's running nice and true, all I've got to do now is machine that down to 10 mil. Once again, just make sure you've got plenty of clearance between the, the chuck jaws and the tool holder, which there is. So we'll break that edge in there. the outside edge as you can see the bastard thing's got us it's a little tiny little nick on there Right, that's the two bearing space I rings, the filter machined, and even a little bit of blood spilt. Once again, it's just time to say a massive thanks for all the help and support, uh, well wishes, nice comments I've had uh, over the last year. It's been absolutely fantastic. Uh, I'd like to wish everybody a Merry Christmas because we have Christmas in, the, in England. I don't know what you, religion or anything, I don't really care. Uh, to me, this time of year is a time for families, especially children, uh, tend to be, like you say, family time, get together, because you just don't know what's on the corner, believe me, you do it. Anyway, thanks very much.